7 to 9. Then we're gonna get a uh, pull off from the 13th fret on the B string. And sliding right down from 9 to 7. So, so the thing from the 13th fret here. Pull off. After sliding down to the 7th fret, you actually hit the string. And after that we got the 9th fret on the G string and the 8th fret on the D string. Yeah. 
just move the whole shape down two frets. So you end up with a fourth fret of the D string, sixth fret of the G string, and seventh fret of the B string. Yeah. Then we get two strums in between. You strum basically the lower four strings more or less. And then we go to after the two strums we have the fifth fret on the B string pulling off to the fourth fret so and then sliding down from the fourth fret to the second fret. we do there is the we have this shape there it's the fourth fret of the low E string fourth fret of the D string fourth fret of the G string second fret of the B string and the second fret of the B string you pull it off and hammer it on you know? so the whole part here the whole last bit here Okay, also watch when I um, hit the strings with my right hand, okay? So again, slow the whole thing. So while we are here at this position, go 
chords here at the end of this uh, little point. So what I'm doing here is uh, the low E string. I got the third fret there, the low E string. First fret on the D string. Uh, third fret on the G string. Fourth fret on the B string. So you get this. And what he's doing here. He's sliding these two fingers up one fret and then down again. Okay, so and then the next chord is an A chord. string, the second fret on the D string, G string and B string and do a, a hammer on uh, to the fifth fret on the B string and then back to the A again. So the first one is this. chord is this one here, a fourth fret on the low E string, first fret on the D string, first fret on the G string, second fret on the uh, B string, okay? And I have it barred with the index finger here. So basically what I'm doing in it here on the last part, on this last chord is... fret with the first fret on the D string and then and what I'm doing here is the second fret on the G string basically going to the first fret so it's a pull of another whole chord here and the last three hits I do with an upstroke here again with the thumb and then in between what I see him doing uh, when he plays live or in his video also he just hits this accent here without any chord but just the strings muted you know combined in the end and then back to that okay again last three chords so I'll play the whole part now really slow okay in the beginning repeating this part three times but the third time is a little bit shorter I'll show you the last part the last time he's playing this okay the third time <laughs> on the A chord here, really loud and bang, okay? So it's from this part. Well, assuming he's doing a downstroke with the 
middle finger, ring finger perhaps, and an upstroke with the thumb, you know, for the accent. Also, the third time he plays this, there's something different there, uh, you can hear. It probably has to do with uh, him uh, attacking the strings with the fingers here. After the two strums here. string in the recording at least. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but just to let you know. So it's this part, right? I think he's probably strumming it, you know? Kind of strumming the strings there. And that's why the G string at the moment comes through a little bit more than the other moment before, you know, and so it's kind of loosely played also, of course. Alright, so thanks for watching again, and uh, the next bit will be available in a separate video again, okay? Alright, bye-bye.